Hi, this video is to show you how to use Microsoft Word to draw your conceptual modem. I recommend that you watch this video to the end, and that is when I will show you how to group all the dimensions, solid diagram together into one single diagram. So to get started, you go to is out, and then you go to shapes, and in the shapes, you could see the shapes by the left with A in the middle. <clears throat> this is a shape that you could write on. If you choose one of these other shapes, there are chances you may not be able to write on them. And of course, there are chances that it may work for you depending on the version of your Microsoft Word. So I'll choose this one here and I'll basically write the shape I want. Just type in the middle to be sure that it's working. It is possible that a shape would have come with uh, a diagram similar to this and you want it to be a pre shape. So to do that, you simply click on the arrow here and then you could change it to a pre diagram and be able to write things in the middle of the uh, shapes. Let's say, for example, this is, uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, say, for example, student parents, all right, student parents. Uh, which is one of the variable. I, if I wanted to be the same size of shapes, I'll just duplicate this by simply uh, highlighting this uh, shape here. You click in on the line and then you uh, copy using the control C and you can paste it anywhere. Just duplicate it and move it around to where you want to be so that the shapes will be the same size. Now, perhaps I want to also include a variable, which is the student location. I may say the student location, and I may have the um, mediating uh, variable may have something in the middle or moderating variable. Again, I paste the same one that I copied earlier and move it here. I may have the student support system, and then I want to find out the outcome for the students, I'll have this one here as be the student performance. So the student performance and basically go back to connect all of this together to demonstrate straight my the relationship between this variable. I'll go back to ESAT and go back to shape and use one of these connector. I connect this to uh, this uh, variable here and then do the same. So in order for me not to be going back and sort of pick up the arrow one by one, I'll just simply double click on this arrow here. So that helps me to copy to just continue to use the same command across. So just come here and do the same thing uh, in this level. Um, just go back again, I uh, shape and then double click on, uh, no, double click on this. Seems to be frustrating. Um, so, yep. Okay, so uh, we connect this to this one here. So now you see that it's double clicked, <clears throat> so I could move it around. So it could also be possible that the student parents would have impact on the student performance. So I may have another direct effect with the student performance, and then another direct effect. Uh, based on the student uh, location. So have this kind of variable relationship. <clears throat> now that I have this kind of uh, diagram, uh, modernly student performance, the next thing I have to do, because I want to be able to move this diagram around at any time, and I'll still be able to change any of these variables in the middle of it. So to simply do that, uh, you, um, Click on, you hold down the, the key for control, the control key, you hold it down, and then you click on the, or uh, basically click on the first one first if, before you hold the control key, uh, you click on the shape. So you have to move your mouse around to be on one of the lines. So I click on one of these lines. So once that is clicked, then I'll hold down the control key and move on to the next one and then click on the next one and then sort of select all the diagrams and the connected line that you uh, want to modern into the same uh, frame or figure. So you could see that all these are selected. So once this is selected, 
so you hold down not this time around not the control key you hold down the shift key hold down the shift key and press your max on one of the lines in any of the shape uh, it should be right on the line and if it's there you should see that the max will change and then you hold down the control shift on your keyboard and then you right click on this uh, on this letter, you see this option. I right click twice in order to see this uh, option here and have the grouping. Under the grouping, you can then group these uh, diagrams together. Then you, you could simply remove your hand from the shift and then click on group. And that will group this diagram together. So you could see, and I can move it around just like a single diagram. So uh, when I select it uh, as a single diagram, it is possible that I could move it to any location I wish it to be, as you can see from here. And that helps me to sort of walk around this same document at just a single document, a single uh, uh, figure. And you could always go back and change any of the uh, text you have on, on the uh, diagram. So again, we just simply go back and move it around any page you wish to move it on and you have a single diagram. So you could basically use your Microsoft Word to design whatever um, diagram you want to design. If you, are on a, if you are conducting a research, could equally use it for your conceptual framework by highlighting those key variables and the relationship between the variables.